Morning, this is Sarah from Valleyworks and today Paul is going to attempt to ride his bike up the steepest residential street in England. Oh dear. Two weeks ago I changed the chainring on my Brompton to a 39 tooth. We did a video about it and I've been riding for quite a few weeks with that chain ring and it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. Really good, just enables me to kind of sit down on hills for longer so I can stand up on the really sharp bits. And that means I can sustain hills better. So it's definitely done what I wanted. The 39 tooth doesn't have a chain guard so it does let a bit of oil onto your shoes without the chain guard so it's worth uh, overcoming this by keep using kind of a drier lubricant as, a, as opposed to a wet lubricant. So that's what I've got on. Pictures you can see just here of that. So other than that, no, it's been really good. So on my usual routes, it's been great. So we're going to go and attempt uh, a little bit of a harder one. riding alongside the Avon and we can see Totter Down now which is where Vale Street is. So Paul says I need to ride up it as well but I'm filming and taking photos so I don't know that uh, that's the point. We'll see. Not even at Vale Street yet and look how steep this area is. Paul is coming up Park Street in Totter Down which leads to Vale Street so we're not even on the tough bit yet. Vale Street itself is 22% um, average gradient with a hard bit of 25. Do you want to say something? That's the first test. Oh dear. Definitely, I wouldn't have been able to get that there in a 44 tooth. Maybe a 40. Definitely couldn't have got out there in a 50 tooth front chain ring. So I'll gather my thoughts and then we'll give this a go. Where do you think is a good effort? Halfway, getting up that first bit. We'll see. You can let us know your thoughts. Here we go. made the one in four at the bottom uh, the rest is a 22 percent so um, on average so come on Paul He's gonna come down now. Really can't get the steepness of this hill. Think you're gonna have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I think that has got to be the ultimate test for the chain ring because I believe this is the steepest hill in Europe. England. In England, sorry, England. How many percent? Twenty-two percent, I believe. So probably I got all the way to the top. It was a bit of a grind. So yeah, we'll do a bit more of a longer term test into when we uh, go touring with the Brompton and we'll give that review as well. But definitely, you know, I was only able to get up there with the 39 tooth. I wouldn't say it's Something I'm going to rush to do again. Our friends are coming to join us and they missed it. So potentially I might have to do it again in 10 minutes. Probably uh, some people are thinking, what is this guy up to on this Brompton? What an idiot. But I guess in some regards, the Brompton does lend itself to this kind of steep hill. Because as you imagine, as I'm going up, these are my feet. I've just got to do enough to just turn 
the small wheel just enough 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 whereas if i was on my road bike i've really got to put a lot more energy into it and have a bit more of a flow to turn the bigger wheels so whilst you wouldn't want to be doing this every day on a brompton i do actually think potentially it's easier on a brompton as long as you can find your kind of flow with it and uh, just grind away i'll have to come back on my road bike and compare the two Okay, he's doing it a second time because our friends have joined. So um, let's see how this goes. Go on, fool! Time for a well-deserved coffee, I think. I think today, definitely given the chain ring, a thorough test ride, and, uh, some super steep hills. I'm really happy with it so far. We'll let you know how I get on touring with it, but I imagine because of the cycling I've done and the tests we've done, I think it will handle really well when loaded and will give me what I want from being able to sit down on the Brompton and sustain kind of riding up hills for a longer period of time rather than having to get up out of the saddle every time for kind of a steep hill. So thank you for joining us um, when testing this Brompton up the steepest residential hill in England. The Brompton's done really well. I think I've done all right today. Uh, so yeah, happy. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.